Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia and I have a little update on Ezra Miller's Flash. Well, as many of you know, Ezra Miller was recently arrested for disorderly conduct and harassment out in Hawaii. And this isn't the first time the actor has been in the news for such behavior. This has caused many fans to wonder about the future of him as The Flash at Warner Brothers, as well as his involvement in other projects there. And it seems we have a bit of an update from a fairly reliable source, Rolling Stone. Let's take a couple minutes to dive into the report and talk about what they're saying about the future of Ezra Miller as The Flash. Now before we dive into this though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, the big giveaway. We're going to give away this Oculus Quest 2 at 50 thousand subscribers. All you need to do to get in on our giveaway is be a subscriber and leave us a comment. Also, while you're at it, make sure you check out that free week of skill share down below. It's a pretty cool way for you to develop your superhero skills for that never-ending war on crime, all while not diving too deep into your pockets. Plus, it really does help the channel, so we really appreciate it. Well, I suspect this is going to be a pretty sad story for many people who are fans of Ezra Miller's version of The Flash, as well as the Snyderverse overall. According to a recent report, it does appear that Ezra Miller's recent law enforcement interaction has indeed prompted Warner Brothers to take some action. Now, according to a report from Rolling Stone, DC executives and Warner Brothers had an emergency meeting on March the 30th, and this was to discuss Ezra Miller's future as The Flash after his most recent arrest. Now, according to the report, a decision was actually made, and according to Rolling Stone, and I quote, they hit pause on any future projects involving Miller, including possible appearances in the DC Cinematic Universe. Now, in case you didn't know, Miller was arrested last week after a drunken altercation with several patrons in a bar in Hawaii, and the situation escalated until a restraining order was filed after he allegedly threatened a man and his wife in their home. Additionally, the report says, additionally, the report says he stole several items from the couple, but the weird part is they eventually bailed him out of jail, so I'm unsure of all the details, and we probably won't know it until they go to court. Now recently, WB pushed Andy Machete's Flash back from November the 4th to June 23rd of next year. And the real reason for this really long delay may finally be clear. Now Rolling Stone did add that the production was, and I quote, fraught with drama. And while there was now, quote, yelling and violent outbursts, Miller was said to have frequent meltdowns during the shoot. Insiders even described him as losing it. But once again, we're not front line for this, so we have to take it all with a grain of salt. Now, The Flash is expected to serve as somewhat of a reboot of the DCEU, and Ezra Miller's Barry Allen would no doubt have to be a major focus of that moving forward. It is distinctly possible at this point, if this is the position that Warner Brothers is taking, that at the end of this movie he might indeed be recast, and I would keep your eyes peeled for that kind of news. Honestly, I don't have full details on the story, so it's really hard to make a judgment. If these accusations are true, Warner Brothers is probably making the right move distancing themselves from the actor. This isn't the first violent outburst that he's had, and if there was a lot of on-set drama that they saw firsthand in addition to this exterior, in addition to this external stuff, it would totally make sense that Warner Brothers is making this move. But until we find out more details, what do you guys think? Do you believe Ezra Miller is likely out as the Flash in the DC Extended Universe? And if he is, do you think they recast him at the end of his Flash movie to introduce us to a new actor for the franchise? Seems like the right time to me if that's the choice. Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not getting any updates. Peace.